Spooks in the house. How's everybody doing? Um, been seeing some comments on my uh, YouTube channel, so thanks for everybody that's been making comments. Uh, shout out to Jeff Johnson uh, in regards to uh, one of my live videos. For some reason, live videos don't get as many views as my uploaded, uh, so I'm doing uploaded. Um, just to see if it helps me out. Uh, but uh, Jeff uh, decided to discuss on my third year um, talking about uh, drugs and, uh, you know, the legal stuff. And he made a nice comment on there. Um, I would think that between him and me, the uh, discussion about, you know, don't do drugs, I think we've done more in that, uh, that video than uh, <laughs> what's going on in the whole United States. Just uh, what I'm seeing and what I, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was a nice uh, feedback that he gave, and I appreciate that. And he um, got some feedback on UWM Sports. I like that, so I'll be continuing with that. Uh, the video I did with the tulips, I would, I was going to try to show, yeah, it's been cold, and the tulips just, <laughs> they're, they're staying closed, kind of, so. Uh, that day that I showed the video, those tulips that were open, yeah, they're closed right now, kind of. Um, plus, they're dying off a little bit. Uh, but it's kind of, it's, they have all these tulips over by my parents, and they're just closed right now, just because it isn't warm enough and uh, sunny lately. So, it's kind of funny about that. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, if you get a chance, uh, yeah, the video I did that Jeff, uh, responded take a look at it it was kind of nice uh, good feedback um let's stick with uh covering some uh, uwm uh, sports is so the baseball team is now 13 and 15 uh, so last first time i did this they were 11 and 15 so they're 2 and 0 um 12 and 8 in the conference and last week i did hitting this week i'm going to do uh Pitching and uh, Riley Frey, Fry, uh, freshman, two and three, but has an earner an average of two point seven zero. Looks like they have somebody that has a you know being a freshman and ha um, looks like he's a starting pitcher. So I apologize, uh, man, catching me at wrong time. Allergies have been uh, sneaking up every once in a while, so apologize for that is uh yeah so it looks like they have a promising young pitcher uh being that kind of record in you know it's you know it's the horizon league but it is division one ball um so two and three with a 2.7 in uh, college baseball's uh, pretty damn good uh, so uh keep it up and uh shout out to uwm uh, baseball team and then uh, I'm gonna there should, I'm gonna have a link to an article about Tony Meyer, uh, who is a basketball player with UWM back in 2008-2012, and it uh, basically uh, talks about his uh, professional career overseas. Um, it seems like he had a decent career and kind of walked away from it uh, on a good note uh, with a uh, young family. Uh, grown with and so uh good luck to him and uh, his future endeavors and um it's a good article i mean it was kind of nice to read something different a little bit so i like to i think i'm gonna try to do the uwm stuff a little more uh catch something try to share it uh, so that's that and on to let's see i've talked about tulips uh, I'll recommend uh, if anybody's doing the movies that I do is a uh, possible thing is Applebee's two for 25 carry out uh, pretty decent deal. I don't know if whoever's watching this in my area, it's two for 25 and I went out it's different prices all over, but uh, get two of those and share them and watch a movie. You're good to go. So just give a heads up there. Um, Movie talk. Gonna go with two movies. Uh, first one is 2014 Maze Runner. Uh, more or less for teenagers, young adults. Um, basically, some young kids are transported into a, uh, a field that has a maze. And 
they have no memory when they get there. And then they try to figure out how to get through this maze that keeps changing. And uh, if you get caught up in the maze uh, at the wrong time, things will happen to you. And so they're, they're trying to figure out how to escape. And then there's a, a group of people that don't want to leave. They're happy-go-lucky. So there's division and... Uh, it surprised me. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was a good movie. And I know there's uh, sequels, I think, for it, but I haven't seen any of those. If I do, I will uh, talk about them. Uh, Dylan O'Brien and Ki Hung, King, Ki Hung Lee are in this. The uh, movie was 2014. And uh, a decent sci-fi, if you're looking for going that genre. Uh, next movie, a Western, 1997. And... It came across Deadly Shooter, but when I went and looked to review, it was just The Shooter. So, uh, try Deadly Shooter or The Shooter, 1997. Uh, Michael Dudikoff and Randy Travis. Um, Storyline's good. Michael Dudikoff as the main character, as the silent, uh, the man with no name kind of the attitude. He just too clean cut. That's what uh, kind of hurt. This, there's a good story, uh, but it just had that thing that it needed something there. It was too uh, clean cut. But what saved this movie, I thought, Randy Travis as a bad guy. Um, he surprised. I did not expect uh, the role out of him. I guess I shouldn't even say anything about what his, I should just say his role, but uh, yeah, I kind of gave a little, but he surprised me. Uh, decent uh, bad guy. Um, if he, he wouldn't have been in that role, the movie kind of goes a little flat, I would think. And with him, he kept the movie interesting. Uh, but like I say, it just, you almost felt like they needed to take Michael Dudikoff and just drag him in the dirt or something just to get him that cowboy look a little better. Uh, so those are the two movies. Um, thanks for uh, anybody that's been making comments. I appreciate it. And any viewers out there, hey, uh, enjoy. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, for being a Friday night is enjoy the weekend and have a good one, everyone. Thanks for watching.